Good morning, Peter. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Live from the streets of New York, we were the proud owners of LaGuardia Airport, which was the place where the flight started from. Uh, and and that's such a beautiful airport today, right? Yeah, well, it's about, I mean, it's a nice story. It's another story. It kind of matches the Sully story, and it proves what I've been saying for years. If you're going to fly in a commercial jet in the United States, make sure the pilot is an old person. Yeah, I like that. He knew exactly what to do, right? He, uh, he Yeah, well, Sully was a grandfather. I don't know whether this lady, and remember, it's a lady that did this. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Is 56 years old. That's mm-hmm. how I say. But next time you get on a flight in the United States, take a look and see if the pilot has gray hair. That's for you, baby. Uh, yeah. Can I just say, I, I'm, I'm wondering, I know we're going to get into this topic here, but Peter, I'm wondering what it is like in New York City today where... Uh, Basically, if you go someplace, you're better off saying, no, no, this is a joint. It's not a cigarette. I'm smoking a joint. Whether oh, you're in public right. or in a building, Easier to you're better off having drugs. Than, uh, yeah, the story of uh, how public housing and uh, the tenants who will be banned from smoking inside their apartments... Yeah, well, that's what they want to do. I mean, you know, it's the same old story. When politicians have nothing better to do, they come up with a new crazy idea. It's not a crazy idea. I mean, ultimately, you really shouldn't be smoking anything. But the fact of the matter is it's going to be pretty tough to enforce. And um, I don't know whether, you know, that's something that really the the city of New York should be intruding into somebody's apartment. But that'll be the latest controversy, and yeah. we'll have discussions and arguments and fights and what have you. But we're always the pace setter when it comes to having the, what's it called, the nanny society. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's New York and uh, in California. Yeah, and how would you enforce that? Uh, no-knock search warrants? I, I don't know, I just don't understand. I smell smoke coming from that room. No, but it's pot Cab smoke. drivers it's will be hired to rat the people out. Okay, that's what In other is. words, when somebody gets into our cabs, we'll take a sniff. Yeah, they've been smoking, they've and been we'll smoking. report them to the city government. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you if you watched uh, the 2020 interview on Sunday night and what your thoughts are. This is a whole New York thing going on between Comey and, and the president. What what's your thought on the whole thing? And Hannity and and um, yeah, and, Hannity and then too. The judge, how do you like the hot number, Kimber? Do you remember her from the old days, the uh, federal judge? I, I guess I don't. But um, well, she was having an affair with a married guy. Mm. That federal judge, Kimber. She also was a playgirl bunny at one time. Oh, I didn't so know the that. cast of characters gets better and better. Yeah. No, I mean it got everybody fascinated because it's the ultimate sitcom. The election itself. If everybody remembers, and I don't think I have to remind everybody, that it was the longest-running sitcom in the history of politics. And so we got a president, and presumably we were going to settle down and get going, and now the sitcom continues. And what's going to happen and what's going to happen? I think it's a shame, though, that Hannity's involved in it, because I don't know that it's the function of the reporter to be the news part of the story. Well, it is, it's got to be an awkward position, although you're thinking, boy, everybody's going to be listening to see what I say. However, when you're a part of the story, it becomes more difficult. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it really yeah. is, so he's involved in it. I just hope my name doesn't get involved yeah, it in could. it because yeah. I have lots yeah. of secrets. Well, I could just With hear Michael it now. Michael Cohen? Yeah. <laughs> Gabby Cabby hired Michael it's Cohen. Daniel's broad lady. Yeah. I mean, really looked terrible the other day. They had some pictures of her standing in front of the courthouse, and she was wearing a linen dress that was all wrinkled and crummy. Her hair was disheveled. Wow. I mean, I, I, mean, I won't be catty now, but boy, <laughs> she's got such a hot number. Uh, and I wanted to ask you, too, about um, a lot of stories. The vasectomy uh, snip Staten Island critter population story I find to be a little interesting. Yeah, well... Uh, it's the the last place in the city that has really wildlife, meaning deer. Yeah. And the only way they've come up with what they're going to do is they catch the deer and they give them vasectomies, which is a Woody Allen movie in itself. Mm-hmm. Because you expect that there's a bunch of moils running around and doing it. Now, now for any of your gentile listeners they may not be sure what i'm talking about so look uh, it up moil m-o-e-l yeah uh, or don't look it up uh it's uh, how, right. wherever whatever you want, want it. whatever you, know. you really want to do uh how about the uh, grand jury in brooklyn that's indicted a high school business teacher for sexually assaulting and paying a student after each encounter of sex yeah, well, you know, that that's that's a, a wise guy comment that you get hear lots of times when one of these kids get involved with a teacher, yep. and you say, oh, if only that it happened to me when I was a student, which is also a filthy little thing to say. Yep. But, you know, it's men, locker talk, gag. And then to find out that the teacher was paying for it, 
it's like, my goodness, is that the ultimate dream? Um, yeah, uh, a, a, a jail dream right Think there. Think of the message That's it sends. A, who needs school? <laughs> who needs school? And then there's... You, know, a, you wonder who's the people who are hiring people like this. How does somebody like that get into the system? Gotta wonder. Uh, well, and you know what? I think they, they end up flocking to a system like that because that's where they get access. It's... Uh, it's pretty scary when you think about it. And then um, I, I saw that uh, you were you were talking about the uh, the new show, Broadway show opening, Carousel. Uh, it's going to be opening this week. Yeah, well, I have a connection to that because when I was a kid in high school, I was Mr. Snow. My name is Mr. Snow. So I thought to myself, see, they're putting Carousel on again, a revival after all these years. And nobody thought of me. They could have you know? called you. They're Somebody could have the... stood up in the middle of the first act and said, wait a minute, Mr. Snow is sick. Is there anybody in the audience who could play the part? I could still play it today. And that, so I'm waiting. And, I may and, get called this week. And last week uh, we were talking about the fact that uh, this, the way this jet stream is going, north of the jet stream, uh, it's cold. South of the jet stream, it seems to be nice and uh, and warm. And I think you had a warmer weekend last weekend than we had, certainly. But it's snowing out here right now. What's the weather like in New York? Well, it's not snowing here, but it's a little roaring and it's a little cold today. It, you know, this, ha- this happens every year to, in the last throes of winter and fall and all of that. Uh, things one day it's hot, one day it's cold, but uh, we'll be in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and the 80s, and everybody will be in a good mood. Before you know it. All right, Peter, thank you. Peter Franklin is the Gabby Cabby in New York City. As I said, the best tour you'll get. Check it out. Go to his website at gabby.com. Thank you, Peter. We'll talk again next week.